Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to turn an old basketball into a really cute planter. Now first you want to have, again, an old basketball. This could be something that you find in the trash at the thrift store, maybe one that you have at home that's been deflated for a while. If you need to buy a new basketball, you can also do that. I've seen them in Dollar Tree Plus stores for about $5, so you can buy them brand new as well. All right, so you want to know what type of pot that you're going to want to use inside the basketball. Um, you could just use any standard plastic pot that your plants come in, but the reason you want to know is that you want to know what type of hole to be cutting. So this would be like a good size pot to put in there and cut around. Now if you already have a pot that's not empty that has the plant in it, you can figure out the um, size of it just by getting a ruler in there and seeing what the dimensions are and then drawing a circle that are, is that same size all the way around. But in this case, I am able to just take that pot and trace around it. Now I'm gonna do this on a piece of paper first, and I'm going to draw the outside of the pot. Now you can see that I had drawn a smaller circle within that. I thought that would be great in order to have that lip of the pot be able to kind of fit better that you wanted to err on the side of it being smaller that ended up not being the case and i would just suggest drawing around the outside of the pot and not cutting any smaller now that i have this circle i am going to put it on my basketball generally you probably want to put it on the top where all of the seams come like that you can put it wherever you want but i would suggest putting it on the top because that gives it a really nice look I'm going to lay this on top of the basketball and then I'm going to uh, trace this circle as well as I can. You can see it's not necessarily laying completely flat so we will do what we can and again err on the side of it being a little bit snug rather than a little bit too big. So I'm going to use a utility knife to cut into the basketball. I'm going to start in the center and then work my way out. All right, when you cut into the basketball with the knife, you're going to be releasing some air so you can kind of hear some hissing every now and then as I'm doing this. Okay, I went around and kind of scored the edge first because a basketball is super thick to be cutting through. So now we're going to take the knife and just continue to cut that edge. Okay, I've used the utility knife to score it and to uh, start the initial, but actually scissors for me is working way better, surprisingly, than using the craft the utility knife. And oh, got to get that last little bit. So you've removed the top and now you have an empty basketball. Okay, so I did the circle, but I found that the pot was still a little too snug. So I'm just coming in with the scissors and trimming off just a little bit. I'll keep doing that until I find that the pot actually fits really good. So then after you've modified the hole to accommodate the pot, you can easily just put the pot in there. So I am going to spray paint this now. I didn't spray paint it ahead of time because the paint could have chipped while we were cutting. So just gonna do a spray paint with a um, paint that is made for all types of materials, plastic, metal, um, with the primer, just so we don't have to do that many coats. So we chose a dark blue and that works. All right, so now to make the hanger, I simply took some thick yarn and I cut eight pieces of this. Um, I did a four foot length for each piece. And now I'm going to tie a knot on the bottom. I cut this long enough so that I could have um, somewhat of a tassel hanging down on the bottom. So you might not need the four foot lengths, but I'm just gonna go ahead and knot that like that. And then at the top, for the hanging part. Actually, let me make sure that all of this is even before I knot that. So now I'm just gonna make another knot up here. I'm actually gonna double knot this one because all of the weight is going to be 
um, hanging on this. If you want to make this a little bit easier to keep all of the uh, threads together, you could possibly like duct tape the ends together, use some painter's tape, just to keep them all nice and tidy and make sure that you're getting all of them. And now that I have that, it's time to put the basketball in here. And the tassel is going to be on the bottom. Okay, so you can see that I've got just the eight strings there. All right, I tried to put one piece of yarn in each of these like ribbings on the basketball, those vertical seams, and that seemed to work pretty good. This is what it looks like. I think it's pretty cute. Pretty cute. This is the knot that is up there. I've got the tassel hanging down and the plant just looks really nice. It is such a great way to reuse old basketballs that you might have at home into a really uh, cute planter.